in the angels. My son Maximus is helping me with that. And we're developing the garments of the maiden and the Virgin Mary. That will happen today and then we'll start in on flesh tones. The issue of why icons and why they're not idols, as you settled back in the 8th through the 10th century, they call icons windows to heaven. That is, they make visible the invisible. This is the per perfect liturgical art, art to be used in helping us transcend the physical. Now, spirituality in our day and age has become disincarnational. I want to use that word, disincarnational. We spiritualize our spiritual life, and we take it out of the physical. This art represents the perfect way to transcend the physical. In Renaissance art, we create that space and distance illusion that I talked about before. It tells us a story, turns us into a spectator. We're watching something happen. In Hollywood, transcendent Transcending the physical becomes magic. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, IG, all these kinds of things to give us another reality. This is a spiritual reality in the flesh, just the same way Christ took on flesh and dwelt among us. This is the best we can do. And I don't know that they thought about it when they were creating it. This is not the expression or artistic innovation of one individual, it's really a, a whole culture. And you enter into that culture, and once you enter into that culture, you can understand it and start creating in a way that helps the everyday person, their mind descend into their heart and then they behold God. The kingdom of God is within you, Christ tells us. Well, that's how you find it. Not in some airy fairy sort of out of their spiritual experience, but connecting your mind or your heart, what we call noose, the noetic prayer, so that you can really experience God here and now and live in this world. And that's what faith has to do. It has to exist and function in this world. And if it's too out there, then we can't make the connection. And if it's too impossible because I'm a human being and this is where I was born and the distance between am and ought is so great, and that becomes impossible. But we need to find a way, and this is what the church does. The church is the hospital of the soul. It's not for people that are perfect, it's for people that follow Christ and want theosis, want to become like him. And it's a struggle, and we all know it. This is the place to come and struggle. And so iconography is there to give us that reality. When we leave the world, we transcend time and space and we come into the church. So, let's see how we do it. May it be blessed. Oh.